Hey, hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Rip City Base Works, and today I'm going to show you how to safely debloat any rooted Android phone. So your phone must be rooted uh, prior to doing this. I'm using Magix root, uh, Super SU or Lineage OS root will actually will also work. So first I'm going to show you how much storage is currently available, so we can do a comparison before and after. And this can also be used to save storage, speed up the system, whatever. Um, just remove annoying apps you don't want that the manufacturer forced on you or the carrier. So you're going to want to search for um, root uninstaller. There we go, root uninstaller. This I've tried a lot of apps. This one, in my opinion, has done the best job. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just the one I found was most useful. So after installing that, you're going to want to open it. And if you're on a old phone or a slow phone, it might take a while to load up like it does here. And then you're going to want to grant it root permission. And then it's going to show you all of the user installed apps first, and you're going to want to switch over the system. Okay. And the trick is figuring out which apps are um, important system apps versus carrier or manufacturer or miscellaneous uh, bloatware. So the App Store, that's Metro PCS App Store, that is complete bloatware. No one ever uses that. Um, most of these are system apps or like widgets that you probably don't want to get rid of. Um, the cart thing you could probably get rid of. I'm going to leave it in for now though because it's useful for some people. Most of these, com, dot, whatever, are important system stuff. You don't want to mess with those. Contacts, definitely don't want to mess with that. Device unlock, I would keep that if you want to ever unlock your device. So don't mess with that. And not all phones are going to have that. Only T-Mobile or Metro PCS phones will have that app. Drive, you can totally get rid of if you don't use it or you just want to download it from the directly from the Play Store, Duo, you can get rid of. Facebook, definitely, I recommend getting rid of that. I would keep the file manager, you want to be able to browse files, probably. FM radio, I would keep that, because that's a useful feature, at least. Gmail, you can get rid of that if you don't use it. I use it, so I'm going to keep it. Most of these Google Apps, you can get rid of. Only like play services you're going to want to keep and stuff. Books, games, movies and TV, music, all of those can go. Newsstand. Definitely keep play services though. You're not going to be able to download apps from the Play Store if you get rid of those. I would keep the text-to-speech engine. That's pretty important. Google Plus, you can get rid of them. And there's two versions of it for some reason on here. Hangouts, gone. I don't even think Google officially supports that anymore. I would keep HTC account. Most of these are just HTC apps that some of them you can get rid of. I'm just leaving most of them because they're mostly useful for the most part. Kid mode, you can get rid of that. LinkedIn, gone. I'm not sure what Location Picker does, so Lookout, definitely get rid of. That just slows down your phone a ton. Maps, I would keep. You can get rid of it, though, if you don't use it. Metros, all Metro PCS apps, gone. Except maybe a mobile hotspot, maybe, if you use that. Name ID you might want to keep if you're a Metro PCS customer. News Republic, gone. Definitely keep NFC services. Your NFC is no longer going to work if you get rid of that. Don't get rid of any of the phone apps. You're going to be in for a world of hurt if you do that. Definitely keep SIM Toolkit. <laughs> it 
it says could uninstall for system UI, but don't do it. You're going to have a broken system. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Your phone's going to crash every time it boots up. Is your voicemail gone? Keep all the Wi-Fi stuff. YouTube, you can get rid of if you don't use it. Random video editor, get rid of that. And then you just have to improve the uninstall and then reboot the phone. I'm just speeding this up a bit. And I'm rebooting and I'm back. And uh, I made a mistake here. Uh, the storage looks hot, f more full because I've recorded videos to it, so that's not accurate. I will show at the end when all the videos are removed. So now I'm opening up root uninstaller again to see if there's anything that we missed the first time around. So back to the system. This is always good, just go back around a second time in case you missed anything. And to make sure all of the apps are successfully removed, which in this case they were. And now I'm just going to go into my app drawer and see if there's any that I missed. And look at that, something called Scribble, and then something called HTC.view and HTC Backup, neither of which are very useful. And I'm just going to keep all those Google ones. And the photo editor you could remove also. So now the problem is finding these apps. Sometimes they have weird names or are somewhat hard to find because the other apps share similar names. Like there's a legitimate backup service that shares a very similar name with the HTC backup that I want to remove. So you can usually tell by um, if it has like a com or something in front of it, that's usually something important. So HTC Backup Reset is actually important. That's uh, for restoring your phone to factory settings or whatever. So I'm looking for HTC Backup, so don't get confused by similar names. And if if you're unsure about an app, it's safer usually just to leave it unless you get more information about it. And there's HTC Backup, the one we actually want to get rid of, and there's HTC.view also. And you could remove HTC account and help and stuff, but uh, for this demo, it's not really needed. Okay, and now I'm showing the uh, final storage after removing the video files. And look at that about half a gigabyte saved and on a phone with only eight gigabytes of storage that's a substantial amount